Right guys, so I'm at the airport now at Heathrow. I'm waiting for my flight to Beijing. My flight to, from Beijing is already massively delayed. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, really excited to see everyone at World Championships. And I'm cutting it pretty fine because uh, I'm probably gonna get there like when the competition starts, but it's all good. All right, the gate has been announced. Let's go to Beijing. So I just about made it in Beijing. It was a long flight, but I kind of just slept for most of it and then watched one film. Got to try and swap over now and actually just check the flight and it says it's not delayed anymore. And before it was saying it was 10 hours delayed, so I'm really not sure what to think anymore. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I think I'm just really lucky and just completely dodged the typhoon because the flight looks to be on time. So hopefully it should be an inch on by tonight, which is an absolute result. I was really thinking I'd be staying here overnight or something. Right, made it to Korea, but I'm absolutely knackered, so good night. Um, and I'll see you when I'm a bit more sprightly tomorrow. All right, so I slept pretty well. I'm now here at the venue and it looks amazing. It looks insane. It's way bigger than I thought it'd be for some reason, but obviously this is the biggest, biggest competition that's ever been held. So it does make sense. A Rubik's Cube competition would not be complete without a mosaic. So look at this mosaic. And this is the setup for the stream and the commentary. It's Eric and Oliver commentating there. And this next one looked a bit like an exam, which it sort of is. It's called FMC or fewest moves. So you were all given a scramble and we're given an hour to try and find the shortest solution to it. I ended up getting like a 35, which isn't great, uh, but I kind of had to go up with like a backup solution at the very end because I sort of ran out of time, but it's still pretty fun. I then ran into a fellow UK competitor, Jason Harley, <laughs> and we spent the rest of the day watching a few first rounds of Mega Minx and Square One. Yeah, so you might have noticed I didn't get too much footage today. Um, the big events are kind of happening in the next couple of days, so there'll definitely be a lot more happening then. Um, but it was lovely today to meet loads of people that I'd actually never met before, or people, people that I just hadn't seen for a very long time. So a really lovely competition, a well-run competition in a really nice environment. Right, so it's day two. Um, I didn't sleep a wink because of jet lag. Um, so feeling pretty rough today, but hopefully it should get a bit better uh, once I'm there and uh, competing. I'm running a cold shower does wonders, feeling good. And uh, Scooby's just about to start the first event of the day. It's only at 8.30, which is quite early, I think, to start the day, but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting too much. I haven't practiced it for a while. So ski brown one actually went pretty well. Um, there are still a few more people to compete, but so far I'm about eight um, in the first round, which isn't too bad. Obviously dream would be to make finals. I'd love to make finals. Don't think podium's on the cards, but um, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with the first round considering how I'm feeling today. I'm just getting a drink now. Um, then I got a head back and I got five by five round one as well. So nothing notable really happened in 5 by 5 I got like a 104 average, but the opening ceremony happened and that actually was really cool. We are happy that our shared passion for the cube has brought us all together in Korea. Like day one, the rest of the day was spent watching some finals and it was really interesting watching 6x6 and 7x7 final. So day two was super fun. Uh, not the best results for me, but a really great day. Uh, and now the kind of semi-finals and finals are coming up over the next couple of days. So that will be even more eventful. All right, 7.30 a.m. Just woke up. It's a beautiful day. Let's get ready for the last two big days of Worlds. I don't know why this has happened two days in a row, but again, I've got to be at the competition for 8.30 again. So a bit of an early start. Um, and it's also an event that I kind of care about. It's two by two. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, let's go to the comp. I will never get tired of this venue. Look at this. Yes, this average didn't go too well. Uh, off to a lucky start. Then I got this like eight second solve where I just pretty much messed up everything. Uh, and that obviously set the tone for quite a scary like average. I obviously wanted to make the next round. So I played it super safe and the next one just turned fairly slow and ended up getting like a 2.1 average, um, which obviously wasn't great. And I think it placed me like 
you know, hundredth in the round or something. Um, but yeah, at least afterwards I got to watch the amazing Saint Canali solve. Look at this. And then it was three by three, and I was really nervous with this. And you can kind of tell from my turning; it's really, really bad. And I'm also pausing quite a lot. Um, I was really not happy with this average. I was really hoping to finally get that sub seven average I've been looking for for a long, long time now, but. Um, Ended up with like an 8.1 average, uh, but then again, it is a world championship, so I don't know what I really expected. Um, but yeah, I mean, I obviously made it made it to the next round, which was fine. But then something amazing happened. So I competed in the Scoob semi-final, and the average was going pretty normally. Got a couple of twos, and then the third solve had a pretty good scramble, and I got a 1.4 national record. Annoyingly, the solve was not on camera, and I didn't even film my reaction afterwards because I was just too much in disbelief. I did not expect a national record at this competition, and getting it was so gratifying, especially since I actually plus two out of a 1.12 single back in November. This is also my 10th national record, and my first one in about three years. So again, just so happy to get this, and I did not expect it at all. I then finished off the average fairly strongly. I hope that makes final. And it did. I came 13th in the round, the same as I came in the first round. So really nice to make the finals of my event, which I haven't really practiced in ages. But it was then time to get ready for Nations Cup. Chris, how are you feeling about uh, Nations Cup? How are you feeling about Nations Cup? It's going to be interesting. I think, I think we're going to win. We're going to win. Going to win. Oh, we're just practicing now. We're against Poland first, right? Poland two. Poland number two. So we'll see how that goes. I have no idea what's going on right now. All I know is we're sat opposite US one. Oh yeah, let me show you. It's crazy. Guys. The best in the world. We're about to go on. I don't I know you guys. I think we're about to go on. We don't really know I what's like happening. Crush Poland. Yeah, we'll crush Poland, of course. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so Jason Harley starting off for the United Kingdom. Got bagged out a bit by Chris Mills earlier in the stream, but an 8.37 is pretty clutch. Oh, that is pretty clutch. Poland behind here. UK is clearly ahead at this point. And with Chris Mills on the anchor, it's hard to see it going any other way other than United a UK takes W. Around. It's you. So we just won. Jason, where are you? We just won the first one against Poland. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty. What was our actual final time? Uh, it was like I got eight point three, seven three, seven nine. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. We'll see how the next one goes. All right, now we're going against the Netherlands. And uh, we're gonna win. We will. We will. Since you ready? United Kingdom, you ready? Three, two, one. Start inspecting. Three, but that two, it is one, possible. Go, it is possible for the UK. I am slightly oh, wow. worried. The way I see it, this Netherlands team doesn't have a weak link. Matt's fault to start already on the like Netherlands. Yeah, it looked like a skip by a second exactly down to the millisecond. Damn, that's impressive. Anthony continuing strong form here. Yeah, Anthony's just increased that lead even more, and Twan's not going to let this one slip. Netherlands takes the round. Very good. Oh, Chris Mills with the first sub five though. That almost swung back. That was closer than that expected. That was closer than in the end than I expected when it was halfway. God damn, Chris making a hurt jump here. Yeah, he can't can't ever rule this guy out. I'm sorry, we didn't quite make it. Uh, Close. They did beat us, but actually it was actually all my fault because I got a nine, and then Chris got a four, and you got like a low seven, so yeah. it would have been really good. Oh, well. But now we, now we can watch at least. So it was a pretty close match, but China ended up winning, in case you can't already tell from the video. And that concluded day three. Good morning. It is the final day of the World Championships. So three by three round two is now. I'm not sure which group I'm in. Hopefully I'm not too early on because it's only 8.30 now. I want to have some time to practice. But unfortunately I didn't. Um, I was immediately called up to solve and had not had time to do a single more solve. Uh, so it ended up doing pretty badly. Uh, in fact, I didn't even make the semi-final. I got like a high eight average or something like that. My worst in competition in a while. Um, but yeah, it's what you'd expect for no warming up. Well, that was just an absolute disaster. Um, oh, hey, man. <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, by the way, I, yeah, I did not make semi. <laughs> oh, but after that, it was two by two, and that seemed to go a lot better. So two by two, round two just happened. It actually went really well. I got like a 1.6 average, um, but the scrambles were really good. So I don't know if that's going to make the final or not. I feel like people probably got really good averages on these scrambles too. So we'll have to see. So I'm just watching the score sheet now and I'm 16. And there's like, like six people more to be entered. So I don't think I made it. Somehow I made two by two finals. Very, very happy. Anthony just told me that we are the only two Europeans in the 2x2 final. That's right. 16 people in the final, only two Europeans. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, we need to represent the continent. Yeah, so we're going to come first and second, right? Let's hope so. <laughs> so OH oh, second round just happened and uh, Shiv said didn't make finals, but I never expected that anyway. But I actually did, I did really badly. Nicholas Archer from the UK uh, just got like a 10 average, so he's definitely made finals. Um, so yeah, good to see a UK finalist again. Kieran Behan, also known as Cry and Dean. Yeah. He's about to start two by two semis. Okay, wait, you can do better. I tried, but I laughed it was on How are we doing, folks? How did uh, Pyro semi finals go? Jason? It um, just wasn't my time to shine. You shone, you shined, or shone, in the, shone first, in the first round. 250. Yeah, 56? that was a good average. Yeah. I then watched Yi Heng Wang just casually get five walking. flat. Look at this. I mean, this is sort of unrelated. But the second round of three blind is about to start. Um, we've got some really big names here, so it should be quite fun to watch. And after that, it was time for the Skeeb final. In 13th place, we have George Scully. George Scully got a 1.40 national record place, single in the first Brian. round. Just like all the finals this year, Skeeb finals was also really, really eventful. Ended up not being Zane that actually won, even though he was a favorite to win for sure. It's actually Stanley Chapel, sort of come out of nowhere and practiced a lot of Skeeb recently. Uh, so really, really happy for him. He had a great reaction as well. Um, but unfortunately, Zayn actually did plus two on the first solve. And if he didn't, he would have won. Um, so it's quite unfortunate, but a great podium. So it's uh, Stanley in first, Kato Kakala in second, and Zayn in third. Um, I think I came 12th, um, but I wasn't expecting anything like a win. And I actually don't really practice cube, but somehow I'm still getting to a world championship final. So I think if I put more time into it, I probably could do it, but a lot better. But yeah, it's proving to be a very, very interesting competition to watch all these finals because honestly, it could be anyone in that final that takes the podium and takes the win. Um, there's not much domination here. You know, everyone's quite similar. Everyone gets nervous. Um, so it's really interesting to watch. I'm just going to get some lunch now. I'm currently, unfortunately, missing uh, one of the finals. Um, I'm not really sure which. I think it's five by five. Um, but I'm really, really hungry. I've had to just go get some food. Go on, finals is really tense right now. It might be like one of like four or three people. Yeah, really it's up in sure. the air completely. We're in the waiting area, we're two by two right now. Uh, four by four is happening out there. I don't know what's happening, but we're hearing cheers now and then. So, no idea who's won. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I just don't come last in two by two. But I was last two going into finals, so we'll see. So yeah, there I was in 2x2 two two finals. I didn't even expect to be there in the first place. But guess what? Just watch this average and you'll see I actually came seventh. So unexpected. Uh, managed to actually get my personal best average in finals of world championships, which is amazing. I mean, the scrambles were pretty good. I'm surprised no one got actually much better on them. I think I probably could have actually got with better turning, um, maybe like a 1.3 average on this, which actually would have podiumed. But I'm not complaining. What a great average. <laughs> really surprising. So we're just getting ready to watch Sirothi finals now. Sirothi blindfolded was amazing. Tommy Cherry won with an amazing 14.15 average, which broke the previous world record by like 0.6 seconds. So huge, huge world records. And amazing to do it on the big stage at Worlds. Starting now, watch this.
Luke's doing pretty well. He's got counting 5.3. Let's watch. Yes! Max's BPA is 5 flat. Whoa. Team 1 is on track to maybe win. Max Park won the World Championship! It's now all the podiums, so we're going to see everyone. It's um, the Nations Cup now. So I guess that concludes Worlds. What an amazing experience. Uh, my first World Championships, definitely the first I've ever gone for a Cuban competition. And well, it did not disappoint. Got to meet some amazing people and was also pretty happy with my results in the end. Getting to two uh, finals at the World Championships was not what I expected. Um, so yeah, thank you for everyone that kind of said hello to me, took pictures of me uh, and people that I just hadn't seen in years. It was great to see you guys too. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll see all you guys in Seattle in 2025. Thanks so much for watching.